Welcome back, Tombs. One Dragon here. So, Cyberpunk released update 1.6 earlier today, and part of that update was making these arcade machines playable with a new mini game, Roach Race. Roach Race is a pixel art side scroller mini game that involves avoiding a range of obstacles in an attempt to escape getting caught or captured by Geralt. For those of you like myself that haven't played much of CDPR's other big franchise game, The Witcher, this game is essentially a reference to the buggy nature of Roach or Geralt's horse. When summoned, Roach was often found on roofs, in structures, and sometimes running only on her two forelegs, as shown in the arcade game whenever you eat a carrot. The race takes you through five course stages with backdrops from the Witcher universe. Each has their own remix music, and I've listed them on the screen, or what I think the songs are. Roach Race can be played on arcade machines throughout Night City or a standalone mobile game, however the high scores will be separate. I spent around 30 minutes to an hour playing and beating the in-game high score held by Zirael or Siri and collected the cash and item rewards that you get afterwards. I'll be going over the rewards at the end, so stay tuned. Okay, so the main goal of Roach Race is to accumulate as many points as you can whilst avoiding any obstacles or enemies. If you're going for the in-game rewards, then aiming for the top spot or beating the score of 3,354 is your main goal. So, how do you earn points? A small amount of points are earned passively by surviving or avoiding obstacles and enemies. Eating apples for 20 points, as far as I'm aware the apples are always in the air, and carrots for roughly 60 points or 10 points per second for 6 seconds. Unlike apples which are always in the air, carrots are seemingly always on the ground and grant a significant speed boost which lasts for 6 seconds. And it's shown by Roach's running animation which changes to be on her forelegs. The speed boost obviously makes you change your jump timings, so keep that in mind. This means that the majority of points will come from collecting apples and carrots. In some situations where you might find it too risky to go for both apples and carrots, I generally prioritize carrots. The amount of apples and carrots per level is somewhat random, but in general I tend to get an average of about 500 to 600 points per level, and this tends to even out as you're playing through the levels. For example, sometimes even though I've collected every apple and every carrot in level 1, sometimes I've only ended with 300 points, but this tended to even out after completing up to level 5. Movement and Abilities Roach is constantly running, and aside from the pause and exit controls, you only have one input. The first time you tap up, Roach jumps. If you are airborne and hit it again, Roach will double jump doing a hilarious forward flip, and the third time will force Roach to glitch. The glitch ability has two main effects that you need to keep track of. The first is that it will teleport Roach to the ground, and next, it'll provide an invincibility buff or iframes for roughly 2 seconds, which is accompanied by a glowing animation. The iframes will then go on cooldown, as represented by the bar below Roach, for roughly 5 seconds. While the iframes are on cooldown, you can still use the glitch ability to teleport, but you will not be invulnerable upon blinking. The glitch, or bugginess of Roach, is clearly the main mechanic of the game and is by far the most important mechanic to understand and use effectively. I'll provide some examples. The first is obviously to avoid hitting flying enemies such as griffins or crows. 
Next is using iframes to avoid losing if you are on a trajectory to land on oil or a fence. Thirdly, you can easily blink to carrots that you may have overshot by jumping over them or that are directly below apples. Of course, it also resets your jumps so you're able to jump immediately after landing on the ground. And finally, the most complicated one is that you can use the iframes after doing the blink to collect apples that overlap with enemies. Obstacles and enemies. Generally speaking, each level has increased difficulty as it changes the obstacles that Roach has to bypass and changes the flight pattern of enemies. Level 1 starts off with griffins, oils, and fences. Level 2 introduces crows. Level 3 has taller fences. Level 4, I think that adds different flight patterns for the griffins. And level 5 definitely adds new flight patterns for both griffins and crows. The crows specifically can fly below ground level, where in previous levels they could not. After the first five levels, you will loop. Upon reaching the second loop, Roach will run significantly faster, and carrots are obviously even riskier to collect than before. Keep in mind, to get the final rewards, you'll likely have to beat the high score of 3,354, which depending on RNG and how many apples and carrots you eat, will likely be sometime on the second loop. The first time I beat the high score, I hit 3.4k by level 2 of loop 2. This brings me to rewards. Since I beat the high score in one sitting, I got roughly 6,000 euro dollars and a bunch of texts from CDP arcades after exiting the arcade machine. After setting the high score, you'll need to return to V's original apartment in Mega Building 10. Inside, to your left, there'll be a container with the Roach Race logo printed on it. For me, the container had a Threat Analysis iMod, an outfit named Roach Whisperer, a Rare Weapon Glitch Quick Hack, and a shard titled Roach Race, based on true events. Essentially, the shard provided some background and lore for the game, stating that this roach became self-aware and began to doubt itself, thus running away. Taking a look at the outfit, based on the description of Roach Whisperer, I assume this is the final prize due to the red text stating that it is the top prize. The outfit's pretty decent if you're going for a western style shootout in the Badlands or hanging with the Aldecaldos. Overall, it's good to see CDPR finally add some repeatable challenging content to the game. Jokes aside, Roach Race is good fun and I enjoyed figuring out mechanics. I personally really enjoyed the remixed music and seeing the Witcher world in pixel art. If you like the rewards, it is definitely worth giving this a go and it's just good fun. It took me quite a bit to test out the glitch mechanic, but once I figured it out it became pretty easy to beat. Hopefully this video helps. Plenty more Cyberpunk 2077 videos to come in the future. There's tons to talk about in this patch. See you next time, tubes.